my whole life as a masculine presenting, you know, gender non-binary trans person, knowing from a very young age that I was not, you know, fitting in the body that I was born in, I would love fashion that was more masculine. So that's why I decided to start my own shoe company so that people no longer feel invisible. I think a lot of business people, especially like cis heterosexual folks, take for granted that they have a voice naturally. People will listen to them, you know, uh, especially if you're white. And then for folks who are not those things, like you don't realize it's really hard to be heard. When you're starting a business as an entrepreneur, you have to speak louder than everybody else. You have to be like, in people's faces to be like, I'm trying to do this. Will you do this with me? When I wanted to create a gender-free last, which is the shape, the mold of the shoe, being constantly kind of mansplained and told, no, this is not how you make a shoe. And me having to push back because, just because it has never been done before doesn't mean that's not how you do it. When I told the story of why I was doing what I was doing, I really, try to explain it to the last maker, I think it took time, but he, I think he started to become invested. It made him question, I think, what he was doing. And I think that's really like, that's how we changed the world. There's so many variables into how we use fashion to express ourselves, that subtracting the component of gender, I think really helps people have an ability or an accessibility to be as authentic as possible. The feedback was overwhelmingly like, fa finally for the first time, they felt like they were walking in their own shoes, you know, uh, walking taller, walking prouder. I mean, all the things that I felt the first time I wore them, <laughs> But I just thought because that has my name on it. When you hear other people putting them on and feeling the same euphoria that I felt, that's when I was like, I'm so glad that I took this journey because no matter how hard it was, it was worth it. Well, thank you so much for having me, GoDaddy. It's been a pleasure. I love sharing my story with you and I would love to hear your feedback. So feel free to leave a comment because we're all in this together.